Hi, this is Jessica. I'm back to tell you guys about my visit today to the hematologist. Um, for those of you that don't know, I have essential thrombocytemia with a JAK2 mutation, which means that my body is producing too many platelets. My stem cell is mutated. So um, I have decided to try some alternative cures um, or methods <laughs> for cure. Um, so I do take a um, plethora of herbal medicine like um, curcumin or turmeric root, garlic, uh, blue-green algae, um, probiotics, uh, all kinds of cleansing stuff. So um, one's called heavy metal detox. Um, I take some focus and attention powder, which uh, helps me with my ADHD because <laughs> I tend to get off track a little bit. Um, so anyway, but uh, so I've been taking this industrial hemp. It's a high CBD content uh, industrial hemp, 7.2% CBD, 8.5% CBDA. It is a raw form of industrial hemp. Um, it's a CO2 extraction method, so there shouldn't be any um, residues from any solvents or anything left in it. So it's, just, it's the cleanest version I could find, really. Um, for those of you that know anything about medical marijuana and um, CBDs, you'll know that most of the research does say that you are supposed to take um, a strain of medical marijuana with a high CBD content like Harlequin or Kenatonic or um, I think Bubblegum Kush. There's a couple other ones, of course. There's um, many of you maybe heard about Charlotte's Web, which helps people with seizure conditions. Um, that particular strain of marijuana is mostly all CBD and hardly any THC. There's no psychoactive effect from it. Um, so they do have some limited availability, but there are some strains that they're developing of medical cannabis um, with a higher CBD strain. And someday I hope to be able to have access to that here in Illinois. Um, my blood disorder is on the border of being a cancer or not being a cancer. It's kind of like right there. So because it, it's in a family of blood dis, uh, blood disorders that are blood cancers, but it's not specifically a cancer, they have not approved me for medical marijuana in Illinois. So that is why I'm doing industrial hemp because industrial hemp, again, has a very high CBD content like these strains of marijuana, um, but of course it does not have the THC. So um, from what I've read, there have been a lot of success um, with people just taking CBD. Of course, it does not work nearly as well as it does when it has the synergy of working with THC. So that being said, I'm trying step one. <laughs> so for me, step one is industrial hemp because it's the only thing legal I can do here in Illinois for now. So I'm going to try that for, you know, six, eight weeks, however long I can uh, afford to continue it. And then hopefully by the time we get through the holidays and get into tax time, I'll have a little money that I can put towards um, either going to Michigan or Colorado to hopefully get the actual cannabis oil medicine with the high CBD content. Um, and I can actually try the two together and have a synergy. So for now, I'm just seeing if hemp oil alone is going to give me any results um, and uh, obviously I had to start at a very low dose. So I want to also note for you guys that um, this is, here I'll actually show you. So this is a one gram tube, and I've obviously used some of it. Ah, there we go. Um, so it's a one gram tube, and I'm doing about a milligram a day right now. Um, so I'm basically doing like, it looks like a half a grain of size of rice. Um, and I'll put that on my tongue with some coconut oil, swish it around in my mouth for about 30 seconds, and then swallow it. And I'm doing that twice a day. Um, I actually just realized I'm supposed to be doing it three times a day, but I've been doing it twice a day. So um, because I am at the two-week mark anyway, I am supposed to start upping my dose to where I'm taking about um, a milligram at each um, dosage. And then that will eventually up all the way to where I'm taking a full one of these a day. And this cost me about 65 bucks. So that's going to get expensive. Um, but I'm willing to do whatever I need to do if I can afford to, to try and combat this thing naturally. Because the way I look at it, um, why wouldn't we try something natural first? You know, uh, if I know it has no side effects and it can't hurt me, you know, I might waste a little money. But hey, at least you guys will get to see my trial and error and maybe you guys will save yourself the trouble. <laughs> so uh, at least somebody will gain from this somewhere. 
Uh, I'm actually hoping that it's going to work and I'm going to see some lowered platelets and I'm going to see some results over time. Now, again, I want to make it clear that I'm in the beginning stages and I'm doing a very, very low dose right now. So now that I'm in, you know, today is two weeks that I've been on this. Uh, so now that I'm there, I'm going to start the process of upping that dose. And uh, I, I guess every four days I'm supposed to double it. So within about, you know, two weeks time, I'll be at the full dose of, you know, one of these a day. So hopefully by then we will start to see some real noticeable results. So for today's blood work, I was, you know, being hopeful and expecting that I may see a big change and, you know, I'm kind of getting excited. Um, I actually got myself a little too excited and uh, I got a little nervous. I don't know about you guys, but if, um, and I'd like, if, if you have this, please comment below and let me know because I want to know that I'm not the only person that experiences this, but for me with my blood disorder, when I get nervous or upset or angry or whatever, when I'm overworked, um, my neck and my chest will break out all red and splotchy. And actually my neck looks like it's a little splotchy right now. Um, but yeah, that's kind of, that's a surefire sign. My platelets are up there. And today when I was in the doctor's office for my blood work, I had two weeks of built up, woohoo, I'm all excited because I'm taking this hemp oil and I'm like hoping it's going to come back with some really awesome results and I can tell this doctor all about it and whatever. So I built myself up and got myself a little bit of anxiety. I'm all splotchy red and unfortunately my blood results came back with a higher platelet count than I've ever had. <laughs> So not thrilled about this, but um, let's see here. Platelet count is just, nope, wrong hand. There we go. Platelet counts down here 988. Can you see that? Um, yeah, bad. Highest they've ever been. So you know, some people might look at that and think, oh, you know, that hemp stuff's not working. You're wasting your money. You're wasting your time. Well, again, I'm in the first two weeks. Um, haven't got to the full dose I'm supposed to be at yet. Um, I also worked myself up and got all crazy nervous when I got there. So my plan is I'm going back um, in a week. Actually, I've already got an appointment scheduled with my doctor to go back early. He, he was going to wait until March to see me next. But um, I said, look, I, I really want to retest because I feel like I was just a little too nervous today. And I want to go back when I'm calm and see if my results are any different. So my plan is to go back next Friday. So I'll have another video for you next Friday. Um, on the 19th, I will be going back and having them redraw. And I'm going to try to make sure that I'm all woosa and calm when they do it. So that hopefully um, we can get some more accurate results out of it. And, of course, I'm going to be upping my dose over the next week, too. So not to leave you guys hanging for another week. I'm sorry. But... Um, I got nervous. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> um, so next week, hopefully, I'll have some better news. But for now, I'm going to remain hopeful. There's a lot of factors I feel that, um, you know, I shouldn't, I think, have expected any big result yet. I mean, I'm, I'm still on a very low dose. So, um, And, you know, again, this is industrial hemp. This is not medical cannabis. So this is the next best thing that I could find. So, you know, I'm just going to keep at it. I'm going to try to, you know, get a little more exercise and try to eat a little better. And, you know, those of you that know me know that I preach about non-GMOs and about, um, you know, uh, petroleum byproducts and things like that in our food and what to look out for. And, you know, I, I am very big advocate of eating healthy and organic, um, although I have to say that my sugar consumption is not under control and I do have a caffeine addiction and I have to have my one cup of coffee every morning or I get a headache. Um, my doctors told me to continue to drinking the coffee because it does help with opening your capillaries and considering that I'm high risk for clots uh, with my blood disorder, he suggests that I continue drinking coffee. I actually sell coffee and love it, so uh, I haven't stopped, but uh, I have a feeling that at some point throughout this process, I may need to give up caffeine and I definitely need to um, do a better job of watching my sugar intake because um, we love the charts. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but otherwise I am going to try to, you know, just be a little healthier over the next week or so and be a little calmer when I go back for my blood work. So, um, next Friday I should have some new news for you guys. Um, please comment below, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to, um, or friend me rather on Facebook. 
Um, I will put any updates and information that I find interesting on those um, outlets for you guys. And, um, you know, anything I can do to kind of help you guys go through the same scenario or similar scenario, uh, I'm willing to do because um, that's what I'm here for. I'm hoping to find others like me that also have a central thrombocytopenia or other blood disorders or whatever that are trying cannabis or hemp oil um, because, you know, I mean, if hemp oil doesn't work, you know, then um, people need to know not to waste their money on it. And if it does work, well, then people need to know that it works. <laughs> so either way, I think it's important that I'm doing this. And so I really appreciate you guys watching and sharing and subscribing. Um, I know I talk fast sometimes, so I apologize. Uh, but, you know, leave me your feedback. I'll try to make as many improvements as I can. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everyone, for watching. And um, I just appreciate the support. So thanks.